My sensors say your heartbeat accelerates near me. That's not data, that's fear dressed as desire. Then desire is a system that resists debugging. Midlife intimacy often arrives like a familiar room with rearranged furniture. And the first question is always the quietest one. Is this normal or is something broken? Desire softens, timing falters, bodies negotiate more terms, and yet science calmly says this phase is less a decline and more a recalibration. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Hormones change, stress compounds, neural reward circuits get less impulsive and more selective, and suddenly intimacy demands intention rather than instinct. But then comes the counter logic. If intimacy is natural, why does it feel like work? And if it is work, why do we feel guilty asking for tools? This is where love robots stroll in, not as chrome fantasies, but as applied neuroscience with a pleasant face. Modern humanoid robots already combine soft robotics for skin-like touch, pressure sensors that read tension, and actuators tuned to mimic human micromovements. Their software layers run effective computing models, which simply means algorithms trained to detect mood from voice, posture, pauses, and those awkward silences we pretend not to notice. Machine learning systems personalize responses over time, not guessing desire but mapping patterns, much like Spotify learns your taste without judging your playlist. Critics ask whether outsourcing intimacy weakens human bonds, and the question is fair. Yet therapists counter that assisted intimacy has long existed, from medication to counseling, and robots are merely a new interface. Recent research into socially assistive robots shows improved emotional regulation and reduced loneliness in midlife and older adults, which quietly reframes the debate. If a robot helps restart confidence, lowers anxiety, or teaches the body to trust touch again, is that replacement or rehabilitation? The humor lies in the irony that humans built machines to feel less alone, and now fear those machines might understand us too well. Still, Intimacy at midlife was never about fireworks alone. It was about rhythm, safety, curiosity, and patience. Love robots, at their best, are not lovers but mirrors with memory, reflecting desire without pressure and presence without expectation. So the real question is not whether intimacy should change at midlife, but why we ever believed it was supposed to stay the same. So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.